in Brambobia Sedu, Officer Inventory and Stores under our Logistics and Administrative Department. So my journey with Stambik Bank started 13 years ago um, through quite unfam unfamiliar means um, as a cleaner. Um, while staying in school, so I was in level 200 at Accra Technical University when I joined the bank as a cleaner. Obviously, due to quite financial constraints and difficulties, I, I, I had to opt for the job as a cleaner to help support myself whilst I was still in school. So um, I finished school in 2012. I was shuffling between school and then working quite early mornings and then catching up with lectures later in the day. Obviously, um, <laughs> from where I grew up, you obviously don't want to <laughs> be stuck there. I uh, grew up in Newtown, school in Nima, and um, there are a, a lot of things you see around that you don't want to be like. And I mean, one thing that might have tickled my wants to climb higher was probably the school I went. Um, even though we didn't have much, um, I was privileged to attend the United States International School, which was a school where you find rich kids back then attending. So the, the desire to aspire and get better and think beyond the immediate community you grew up from, um, started from there. So I realized, no, I deserve something better. So you start thinking outside the box, outside your immediate environment, and you want to become something else. So when I was done with school, I asked for an opportunity for internship with a bank. And um, the HR managers actually didn't know that I was still a student. So they were quite impressed by that. And then they gave me the opportunity to, as an intern at our Akramo branch. So when I was done with internship, they asked that I come back for my national service. So I was posted into the procurement department, assisted with national service because I had read um, purchasing and supply, which obviously sits on the procurement. During my national service, I took the opportunity. Stambik is, is one institution that has strong values and they are quite open. Their organizational culture allows for like equity, equality, and you get the opportunity to learn quite a lot when, when, when you are with this bank because of how the, the culture of the organization is. So when I finished National Service in 2013, um, I went home for a while. During this period, I didn't sit to just wait for the bank to call me back, even though I felt I had worked hard enough as a service person. So I went um, working for one woman. Um, a company was called Saha Enterprise. Um, yes, uh, so she, 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 what she dealt in was she imported garlic. So I had to take on like more of a sales job and help her with accounting and keeping her books. So I would usually go to markets where, especially our garlic brand isn't, and then try to find new buyers and new market women so that we can give them our products. And then I'll follow up for, I mean, to, to retrieve funds for her as well. So during this period, I, I, I learned quite a lot through that. I also managed to be an employee sort of. Because I also found someone who gave me products to also sell as my side as well. So I used to sell and supply monosodiums to the same market women who, my, my, who were more like our garlic um, customers, sort of. Yeah, so through that, I also started a side business. And then fortunately, in 2014, I had a call from the bank to take up a job because they had a new project coming up. So I looked at how much I was earning and how much I was being offered. And, and I decided to come back and then join the bank. So I joined um, as a contract staff for a while. And then fortunately, I was given the thumbs up as a permanent staff, actually like eight years ago as a permanent staff. So I've been a permanent staff under the logistics department for the past eight years. Um, that has been my journey so far. I didn't sit there. I mean, when I was confirmed as a staff, I took the opportunity to go back to school, do top ups to acquire my degree. And then currently I have an MSc in procurement and supply chain management with KNUST. Challenges. A lot of challenges. <laughs> I mean, uh, like like I said, um, shuffling between school and looking at where I stay. Nibitown, I have to walk through Nima and go come to reach, work. Lecture starts at seven because I'm a full-time student. <laughs> you leave work after after cleaning obviously you are tired but you have to go to school first two lectures i would always sleep <laughs> most of the time i would sleep and obviously it's not so easy so you live on tight budgets think the stress but 
you have to just keep up <laughs> that is tough i know where you want to get to so as for challenges i mean i've been through a lot just try to fight it and then move on a friend actually introduced me to procurement and supply chain management purchasing and supply jeffrey is actually in germany now he told me this is an emerging course i i asked him when he took bob a lot of maths he said no i could do it because i prefer i like to read and to do anything mathematics i i'm not a maths person so i mean he told me this was a course, an emerging course that every institution will be required to have a professional in that field. So I decided to give it a try. This was not a course that I knew about that had procurement wasn't so so big. I mean to my knowledge. So oh yes. Um and then after pursuing it I realized I, I developed an interest in it. After national service having met professionals in the same field who were doing similar stuff, I decided to do that line. So I did the same thing for I top up my degree and did the same thing for I must say. The coming environment as well, it's 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 it helps you to grow. Trainees they give you you learn on the job and you, they give you opportunity to 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 set with top notch industry players who are in that particular field. So that that inspired me more to, to pursue that. I mean I couldn't have done this alone. Um, a lot of people have contributed on this journey from anyone who taught me from childhood to now. But I've had some key people who really shaped me, especially immediately after high school. When you know you are young and you are going to explore and do all the stuff. Um, Mr. Daniel Foster Kokoko, the CEO of the Fugu Concepts, really helped me. This was uh, someone in the neighborhood everybody looked up to as a role model, um, of which I was no exception. He, he really helped me, gave me books to read, gave me, taught me a lot. Taught me a lot. So Mr. Daniel Foster Kukukun played a key role in my life. And then professional wise, I mean obviously, having given the having gotten the opportunity as an intel and as a national service person, all started with um, our current head of HR, Sam Samite. Samite has been very helpful. And then my manager, John, who also called me back after I had left. So these are people who have really helped me. My brother as well, I'm not leaving my brother out. My brother whom I follow, his name is Seth. That has been of a lot of self sacrifices, paying my fees. And then my friend, Sheikh Idris Tofo, he's beyond the freelance like a brother. He's, 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 he's been of help helping me with my fees and all that. He's actually the, the Mota ambassador to Ghana now. This is someone who has played a key role. And, and a lot more. I mean, if I leave your name out, <laughs> don't be offended. But a lot of people have played key roles. My family, everyone who supported me. I'm so grateful for their help, yeah. I can say as a seven, you say that the end of a matter is better than its beginning. And patience is better than pride. Obviously, um, I can't say I did this all purely based on merit, you know. God has been a key factor in my life. I'm trying to stick to the Christian principles and pushing myself and working hard. So, yeah, for any youth out there, your background never defines your future, so just keep up, work hard, and don't be in a haste to 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 make it quick. I believe um, back then, uh, even when I was taking on the pain, of some friends didn't understand. Obviously, I didn't want to find myself in need. So obviously, um, I've I've treated every work that I've done with utmost respect. So you just have to know where you want to get to, and be willing to put in the work. A big thank you to Stambik Bank Ghana Limited, um, without which, obviously, this journey wouldn't have been possible. So I thank everyone who played a key role, or the managers under which I've been, the support, and everything that the bank has done for me, I'm truly grateful.